Hey, Shalom. First off, give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Karkadash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of GMS, salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring, in truth and in sincerity, and the women and children who follow. So as you can see, I'm doing this lesson today about having a personal relationship with the Most High, Yah, by Shem Yahushai. Okay, so, um... It's very important that, of course, you know, you being in this truth, but you have to have your own spiritual, your own personal relationship with the Most High. Almost, I want to say kind of like an understanding, but, you know, of course, you're going to, you're going to pray, you're going to want to, um, do things that are pleasing with the Most High. And the Most High knows everything that you do anyways. But the Most High has to literally be a, a father to you, a friend to you, you know, all of the above. So you do have to, to garner that, that personal relationship with them. It can't be just like a, hey, you know, if you bail me out this time, you know, I'll never do X, Y, and Z again, you know. You have to actually develop a, a rapport and an actual relationship with the Most High. So that's really what I wanted to go into today. And um, just uh, I put together a few precepts just, you know, um, that I thought of off the spirit. Um, so with that being said, let's just get right to it. Uh, this is First John. I'm going to start with um, chapter 1 and verse 5. This thing is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that the Most High is light, and in him is no darkness. Okay? It's all good with the Most High. All right? What's good? Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, basically, uh, the parameters are set. All right? You know what's, what's it's black and white with the Most High. Either you're righteous or you're wicked. There's no middle ground. There's no lukewarm. You either in or you out. Okay, so if we say that we have fellowship with them and walk in darkness, we lie and do not tell the truth. So if you claim that you're in this truth, if you claim that you're a man of the Lord, your actions should reflect it. Okay, because if you say that you're walking in the light, that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, but you're walking in darkness, okay, you will um, think that you're fooling somebody uh, in this truth. You know, the most high knows, but it says, it says, uh, you lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Yahweh Shia son cleanses us all from, uh, from, uh, and his son. All right, but, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship we have fellowship one with another. All right, so that's the brother in the Akim. And the blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, his son, cleanses us, all, cleanses us from all sin. Okay, so when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, when you're walking in the light, when you're doing your lessons, when you're preaching, when you're teaching, when you're uh, being a brother, when you doing all the things that are required of a man of the Lord, then you're being cleansed from all your sins. It says, uh, charity cover a multitude of sins. Okay. But if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Okay. That's one thing that's, that's big. And, you know, we'll get into that with some of these upcoming precepts, but knowing yourself, Knowing your downfalls, knowing your how Satan can get advantage of you. You got to admit where you're wrong. You got to admit the demons that are on you because we all have vices. We all have things that uh, we are vulnerable to. But that's our battle. That, this is the condition of the battle. The scriptures talk about the condition of the battle. Okay. Um. If we confess our sins, he is faithful 
and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So just keep it real. Tell the truth. Hey, Lord, hey, I fuck up in this area. I know I fuck up. Please help me. You know, not you know, that's just I'm 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 just a kind of guy that to say say it like that, you know. You know, you don't have to be as as quote vulgar as I am or that's just how my spirit is, you know. I I curse, so so to speak. But um but that's just that's my spirit. That's how I am. That's how real that's how I really get. When I speak to the most high, it's not out of disrespect. It's because that's the personal relationship that I have. I can be myself. Hey, Lord, I'm I'm fucking up. To help me, you know. But everybody has going back to what I said. Everybody has to have their own personal relationship with the Most High. It says, uh, if we say that we have not sinned, we make Him a liar, and His word is not in us. So, like I said. Own it. If you deal, if you're doing wrong, man, own it. Own it and fix it. Ask for forgiveness. That's what. Um, asking for forgiveness. That's 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 what. Uh, confessing your faults. It's a it's a word that's it's, it's uh, on the tip of my tongue. That's escaping me right now, but I'll remember it here in a second. Um, we'll go to the next scripture. I'm not going to hold y'all too long. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse five, repentance. That's what I was thinking of repentance. It's like you, um, repentance is, you know, g going back from your sins, confessing your faults. Um, second Corinthians 13, uh, two and third, second Corinthians chapter 13, Verse five, examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. So going back to what we said over here uh, in verse eight, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. So we, what should we do? We need to examine ourselves, whether we be in the faith. Okay, improve your own self. All right, admit to your faults. Admit to your, your strong points. And, you know, get stronger in your strong points. And then make your weaknesses a strong point. Build character. Build build faith. Build yourself to Build yourself up to the man that you know you need to be. Get better. That's how you prove your own self. It says, "Know ye not your own self? You don't know. You don't know yourself. You, of course, you know yourself. It's a rhetorical question. You know yourself. You know um, the things that are your downfall. You know the things that you're good at. So you need to make a game plan for yourself, and so that you can succeed. But that all goes back to your personal relationship with the Most High." Okay, because you need to, to ask him for that strength. Okay, you need to do the things that he requires you to do. Because at the end of the day, he's going to put the instructions in your mind when you go to sleep. Okay, so look at yourself and what you can do better opposed to... to and look, how, look at yourself for what you can do for the most high, not just for what he can do for you because it's not always about you to be honest, you know, or to be real, it's about him. What can you do for him? So that's, that's the, the outlook that we should have opposed to always looking within or looking for something for yourself. You know, what can you bring to the table? Uh, this is a, St. John chapter 4, starting at verse 23, says, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. All right, that's the only way that you can worship the Most High, is in spirit 
and in truth. Okay? Like I said, going back to to um, confessing your sins and confessing your faults. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So in order to do that, you got to worship him in spirit and in truth. If you fake in the funk and you not and you don't believe that, OK, a brother can't tell me nothing because uh, uh, I don't think that, that I have a problem with that. You know, this, that and the third, for an example. Then you you're not being in the spirit of truth. OK, going back to, to what to what it says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins so you got to keep it real with yourself you got to keep it real with the most high in spirit and in truth the most high is a spirit verse 24 the most high is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth okay ain't no fake funking around here you got to be real with yourself and be real with the uh the brotherhood be real with the ministry if you expect to, to make it out this thing this is ephesians chapter 5 verse 26 it says that he may sanctify and cleanse it uh with the washing of water by the word the word is what cleanses you the word is what sanctifies you so if you if you're keeping it real with yourself you know these are the things that uh, is going to do it because what we say we said um the most high is light okay um i can't remember right now where i was going with this i I brought this in for a reason the uh, sock yeah. that he may sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word the word is what cleanses you okay keeping the word going back to um the most high is light what is the light you know keeping the law statutes and commandments walking in the right way and, and the instructions are what the word and that's what's going to cleanse you that's what's going to get you where you need to be staying in these scriptures this is the the like i said the boundaries the black and the white this is the white right there if you stay within this, you're going to be good. This is how you're going to get it. This is what's going to actually cleanse you. This is what's going to get you to where you need to go. Uh, verse 9, it says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful uh, and just to forgive us our sins and to do what? And to cleanse us from all righteousness. So we got to have that word. We got to have this word to do that. All right. So that's why it's, it's so important to read, to watch, and to pray. Second uh, Peter chapter one verse ten, work for the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fall. Or you shall never fall. Okay, you gotta keep up with it. You know, this can't be just like a, a, a shot by night. You know, flash in the pan kind of thing. You gotta be consistent with it. It has to be, be um. Not a habit, okay? It should be a lifestyle. Being a, being an Israelite is not, you know, a weekend thing. It's a lifestyle thing. This is your everyday life, okay? Yeah, yeah. We we got to put on that Clark Kent, and then that Superman. We all go to work. We all have you know home life. This, that, and the third. But that still shouldn't compromise your morals, your your values. You should still um know what to do in every situation okay but you but that giving that diligence to make your calling and election sure is the things that are going to help you in your daily life okay and and basically it's going to help you <clears throat> going back to where we said it's going to help you uh, get cleansed from all unrighteousness all right everything's coming back to, to this uh first john uh, one and five uh, on down because you know that's 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 this is the the basis of the lesson all right so um i think i got one more scripture yeah uh yeah i believe that's maybe two more um 
Romans chapter 5, verse 1 on down, it says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord Yahweh Mashiach, by whom also we have access by faith unto this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High. And not only, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Okay, so we were in this thing. We have access to this faith, to this grace. Okay, what's grace? Grace is, you know, we messed up and now our sins are being blotted away. Like it says, going, here we go again. You know, we're going to keep referencing, um, verse nine, you know, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and, and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse it. And, suck it, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's the goal, to be cleansed from all unrighteousness. So, fast forward back to Romans, the fifth chapter. It says, by, all, uh, by whom also we have access to faith and to this grace, where we stand and rejoice in the hope and the glory of the Most High. Okay, but it says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. B bad times, hard times, knowing that tribulation work is patience. Because if you're going through something, if you if you're down low, you know what I'm saying, like um, you you broke, you know, it's not a time to panic. It's a time to execute patience because you're not always gonna be down. But if you panic or if you do something erratic, that's that's not gonna get the job done. Patience, okay. Patience, experience, and experience hope. Okay? Because because you're patient, you're going to gain the experience. You, you've been through this before now. So if it happens again, you already know what to do in that situation. And then you get hope. Okay? It says, And hope maketh not a shame, because the love of the Most High is shed abroad in our hearts, you know, which is our, our minds, by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. For when we were yet uh, without strength in due time, Hamashiach died for the ungodly. Because we were out there. Everybody had come from somewhere. You know, not too many of us were born into this thing. You know, we had to grow up and have our minds uh, converted. We, ha we had to be woken up, so to speak. The 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 muscles and the sinew had to grow on our, our dry bones and our flesh. It says, for scarcely uh, for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. Let me go to this next one. Some would even dare to die. And that's what Yahweh Shai did. He died for everybody, for the good, for the bad. But ultimately, uh, for right now, you know, it's for the elect of Israel that Yahweh Shai died. He laid it down for us. Okay, but the Most High commandeth, uh, commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Hamashiach died for us. So even though we were still in the world doing this, that, and the third, you know, Hamashiach died for us. That, that's that's not a, a small thing. It said that, that you know, for, for a regular dude, most people wouldn't lay their life down. For a good dude, you know what I'm saying, it's hard to press to find somebody to lay their life down. Yeah, how was I did it for everybody? That's why he's that dude. It says, much more than being now justified by his blood, we should be saved from uh from wrath through him. Okay? So that's that's what so um let me, much more than being now justified by his blood. So because he did this, you know, that gives us justification to be saved from, from, from Jacob's trouble, from the Third War's War, uh, so on and so forth. But because we have this opportunity, you need to take advantage of it. Okay? Um, yeah, this, this should be the last one right here. Uh, Hebrews chapter 2, starting at verse 1. It says, 
Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, at least at any time we should let them slip. So we need to take an account of what the apostles say, what our elders say, what our camp heads say, and let it stick, man. Take earnest heed to it. Understand what you're saying. Not just listen. Understand. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and and disobedience received a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape? If we neglect so great a salvation, okay? How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Which uh, which the first begin with Sakya, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. So we're the people that are speaking of the great salvation now to others and want them to come in, but we were once those people. So if we were so if everything that we ever did was bad, you know, or, or we were still in the world, how could we escape? Through Yahweh Shemashai, he gave us a way through his death. All right, so now we know what's up. We know that we're Israelites. We know that we need to be keeping the law, statutes, and commandment. How, how, how are you going to neglect this greatest salvation? How can you neglect the ministry? How can you neglect what, what you're supposed to be doing? Your, your, op, your obligations. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it back to uh, the beginning. And um, uh, verse 9, you know, I'm going to go to verse 9. That's what I was uh, hammering home pretty much. It says, uh, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Just... Admit you're wrong, fix it, and pray the Lord cleanse you from all righteousness. Repent. Repent. And if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So, <laughs> go, go back to what I just said, man. Repent. Admit, admit that you're wrong. Humble yourself for the most high. Okay? Don't be an asshole. Alright, so, you know, 23 minutes in, if you are stuck for the whole video, you know, the water, the water, the water, you know, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shai, Bashim Rakarkadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of GMS, like you. Salutes and honors to the elect. All the brothers across the four corners who are enduring, and true, finished sincerity, and the women and children who follow. Shalom.